everyone so this video will be a check-in for my dendrobiums i actually have a bit of a pest problem on a few of them so i will film those ones last um, but for now i'll start with these so this one is dendrobium bellatulum on the kulog and it's been doing very well it's pushed out this new growth and that new growth as well so it's, it's been on here and you can see here that this growth is pushing out a flower spike and there's another nubbin on the other side as well. So overall, I'm very happy with this plant and I'm very happy I decided to get a kulog for it. It seems to have adapted very well and the roots are definitely sticking to it, so that's good. So this is Dendrobium christianum and growth on it has been pretty stagnant for me, but it's pushed out that one fairly recently, so that's good. No signs of flowers or anything like that. This one is Dendrobium draconis, and like the Christianum, it's been pretty stagnant. I actually don't think it's pushed out any new growth this year. On the plus side, I just noticed that it's starting to push out a flower spike, so that'll be exciting to see. This one is Dendrobium ex uste, and it's been in pretty active growth this year. And you can see it has one, two, three, four newish growths. And then this one is brand new. It has yet to bloom for me though. It should be blooming size and I would like it for it to bloom. I'm definitely going to keep this plant because I really like the colors of the flowers. Overall, this plant is doing fairly well for me. This one is Dendrobium virginium. This one has also done very well for me. I think this is the latest growth and it's very very tall compared to the previous growths however there's no signs of buds or flowers or anything like that on this plant but it seems overall very healthy this one is dendrobium lina wianum and it's doing okay for me uh, it's pushed out that growth recently i really hate how sideways it is i guess that's expected since it only has natural light right now and this one is dendrobium scabrilingu and it managed to push out a few flowers for me this year, which is very nice. In terms of growth, there hasn't been much growth on it um, at all, actually. But I think it's fine. I still like this plant. It has a very nice fragrance. This one is Dendrobium carniferum, and it had recently pushed out this growth. It's a little stubby, and I hate how crooked it is, but the growth itself seems healthy, and the leaves look pretty good. So to recap, earlier this year I had pushed this outside because I wanted to get really cold temperatures hoping to get it to spike for me. Lo and behold, it pushed out this spike this summer. The spike itself didn't mature but it did push it out and it was fresh at one point so I'm not sure if, if that was because I put it outside when it was fairly cold or that it's because I moved into my new place, which is fairly warm. I'm not sure, all I know is that this is capable of spiking. So in the autumn time, I am planning to put this outside again to give it some cooler temperatures. I think that'll help. I'm really, really hoping that new growth grows a lot taller. I feel like this plant is pretty poor performing. I have a sneaking suspicion it's not the plant itself, it's me, which is why I'm still holding on to it. This one is Dendrobium sherry abe and it's actually very productive for me. It pushed out another spike for me, uh, which it has since died, but I got another flush of flowers on it, and it's pushing out that new growth there. So this seems like a very happy plant, and I'm glad to have it. Alrighty, so these are my other dendrobiums that are currently in isolation due to a pest problem. So this one is Dendrobium formosum, and I noticed it had an issue under one of these leaves. Uh, it had one of it had those um, thrip-like insects. Um, so that's why this one is isolated. I believe this one is the latest growth, and I haven't seen any signs of spikes on this plant as of yet. And these are my Dendrobium tobiense seedlings. So these had a sticky and some black residue. Um, which I've seen on other plants that had that thrips issue. So what I did was I removed all the moss and I've scrubbed down all the seedlings and replaced it with new moss. So that's what's going on here. 
I unfortunately lost a few leaves on all the growths, but I think they will be fine. I haven't seen any evidence of pests since then, but I need a good two weeks to confirm that. And this one is Dendrobium antenatum crossed with Stribocerus. And this tends to in intermittently get that thrips issue. So if I go back several weeks, it had a problem. So it isolated it. Uh, and then for two weeks, it was clean. So I put it back in its spot. But then I think about a week later, I saw the issue again. So again, I isolated it from its growing spot and now it seems to be okay. So one issue uh, I noticed that at one point it had a lot of new growths in this area, but they've all since died off. And also if you look at the leaves, the coloring is a little bit patchy. So I think it has a deficiency problem. So that's something that I need to resolve. So the good news is that it looks like it's pushing out another flower spike and I haven't seen signs of pests uh, for any time recently so I think this might be ready to be put back. Although before I do that I think what I'm going to do is remove all the moss from the top and probably the top layer of the LECA and just put it in the microwave to kill whatever might be there and hopefully I won't see any more pests but we'll see. Alrighty so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!